This video demonstrates how to install Citrix App DNA 6.3 in an evaluation environment. This is Jay Paloma. This is part two of a two-part series on installing Citrix App DNA 6.3. We will now take a look at how to implement the install capture facility of AppDNA. Before we go ahead with the implementation of install capture, we need to know what it is and how it works. AppDNA can import MSI packages directly for analysis. As for non-MSI applications, these need to be converted to MSI format first, then imported into AppDNA. The way AppDNA does this is for the application to be installed in a virtual machine. Then AppDNA acquires what it needs from that installation to generate the application's MSI package, then imports the resulting MSI package. After all of this, the virtual machine is reverted to its clean state before the application has been installed. Note the use of a virtual machine. This means we need a hypervisor for the install capture facility. The following are the supported hypervisors of AppDNA. For this demo, I used Hyper-V Server 2012. Do note that some of the products mentioned here are no longer supported by their vendors. AppDNA requires the credentials to create a snapshot and revert to that snapshot. If your organization's hypervisor admins are not keen on giving you these credentials, then just set up your own contained environment. You first need to install a VM where the apps that need to be tested will be installed. This means that this VM will be your current OS version. Depending on the dependencies of the apps that will be installed, you may also need to install these prerequisites as well. After installing the VM and optionally all application prerequisites, you can now run the Citrix AppDNA VM configuration. You can either use the administrative share to do this or copy the package locally to the VM, then run it. Installing this tool is a straightforward wizard. After the Citrix AppDNA VM configuration completes, you will now be prompted to restart your VM. After restarting, this will be a good time to create your clean snapshot. This snapshot is the one that the VM will revert back to after each installation during the install capture process. We are now ready to configure install capture in AppDNA. We go to Edit menu, Settings, Install Capture. Click the New button to launch the Virtual Machine Configuration Wizard. Click Next. We now change the configuration name. For this video, I used Microsoft Hyper-V. Click Next. The Configuration Wizard is now asking us for the Hyper-V host information. Type in the host name or IP address of the Hyper-V machine, also the username and password. If the Hyper-V machine is the same machine where AppDNA is installed, leave these blank. Click the Test button to test the connection, then click Next. AppDNA will now retrieve the VM information from the Hyper-V host. From the drop-down box, select the VM you created earlier and click Next. AppDNA will now prompt for the snapshots you wish the VM to revert back to after each install process. 
I have created my clean snapshot beforehand after the VM configuration tool reboot. We can also create one at this point and let AppDNA use that one as well. We can click test. We click next. AppDNA will now test reverting back to the snapshot and launch the VM. AppDNA successfully connects to the VM via the virtual machine console. It asks us for the credentials of the VM initially. Later on, we no longer need to type in these credentials. The next task is to enter the information on the VM guest. Type in the IP address or the computer name of the guest OS and click Test. Click Next. We now select Copy Results to the Network Share Folder. Now prior to this, I have created a shared folder that is accessible to both AppDNA and the VM. We now type in the path to that share. We click Test and click Next. What do we want to do afterwards? I prefer to leave the VM running and stop it myself to allow for troubleshooting or testing if the application was really installed afterward. The summary of our VM configuration. We click Finish. We now click Save. Testing the install capture facility involves importing a non-MSI package. Again, we go to Import Applications, and this time, we select the Install Capture tab. We click Browse and type in our software package shared folder. We select Word Viewer which is not an MSI package. We double click the executable and the application is now ready for install capture import. There are other parameters that can be configured for this application, but this is beyond the scope of this video. We now click import. When we do that, AppDNA initially tests the VM first. We may not want that, so we can just check don't show me again and click skip. The install capture process commences. During the initial running of install capture, we may be prompted for publisher of RDP or certificate of the connecting machine. We just select Don't Ask Me Again and click Connect. We are also asked for VM credentials. We type in the needed information and check Remember My Credentials and click OK. We will now see what's going on in the VM. First, AppDNA gets the before information of the VM, then automatically installs the application. then acquires the after information of the VM, creates the MSI, and imports that MSI into AppDNA. Note that this MSI is just used by AppDNA for information that it needs and is not a package intended for installation. After loading completed successfully, we are now ready to analyze our non-MSI package.
do check out the app DNA portion of the Citrix website. You can also check out the Citrix app DNA blogs as well. Thank you very much for viewing this video. This has been Jay Palak. Thank you.